Let's go out on the guest line and talk to. Yeah, we are we are so lucky we get to have Jason Kelsey on with us each week. So forthright, so honest, and uh, and Jason, man, I know it's not the uh, the most fun interview comparative to others, but um, we really appreciate Jason as always is sponsored by PDQ Signature Systems. If you're in the restaurant, hospitality, or casino business, you need a PDQ POS system. With PDQ POS, you'll sell more, earn more, and work less. If you want the best, trust PDQ POS. Visit PDQPOS.com. Hey, Jason. Uh, I, look, I know it's uh, it's been a tough few weeks, man. How you holding up? Doing good, Seltzer. We're in the playoffs. Got an opportunity here. Obviously, uh not the way we wanted to end the season by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, you know, uh, had a good first half. So we put ourselves in a spot where, uh, you're in the dance and if you're in it, you got a chance. So, uh, mm-hmm. we're looking forward to this week. How hard is it to keep this team positive right now, Jason? Um, I mean, you know, listen, it's whenever you're losing consecutive games, it starts to, uh, wear on you. Um, but I think, uh, you know, you go back to the season and look at the teams that we have beaten and look at the, the games that we have played. I know uh, as of late it's been really bad, but, um, you know, I think that you, you, you look at things in a, in a way that uh, you try and be optimistic about it. I think mm-hmm. that for the most part we all are. I think we know that if we go out there and, and put together a good game that we can compete with anybody and um you know, so you go at it with the approach of preparing as as, as well as you can, and 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 then put as much work in and and focus as you can, and hopefully that takes place this week. So, the end of 2017. Let's go back. There was a time when uh, Nick Foles was taken over at quarterback. We knew that mm-hmm. the offense needed to change uh, because he had a different skill set than what Carson did, and you guys completely revamped the offense for the postseason. Yeah. How realistic is it for something like that to happen again? Is that sort of thing replicable? How badly do we need to revamp the offense? What, what, what are your thoughts on that, Jason? Um, I think that, well, first of all, the scenarios are, are way different. Um, but I think, um, I don't think we need to, like, do a whole, you know, you know complete shift or revamp of the offense. I think we need to uh, do some things better uh, and, and put ourselves in, in, in better situations, coaches and players. Um, but I think the the reality is, you know, the plays that we have in and have been doing all year, I think are, are, are ones that we can have success with and have had success with. You know, I know it didn't, you know, last week, you know, we, we just didn't handle the blitz. Outside of that, we moved the ball pretty good. We had some good run, running game calls early. Uh, you know, we only had a you know a half of football to deal with. Yeah. But um, you know, I think that that was really what took us out last game was was not handling that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that um, you know that doesn't have to do I think as much with the uh, overall you know revamping or running plays and stuff like that. I think that that's more execution and and then in you know, being in the right spot and, you know, Wink's good. He got us, but, yeah. you know, I think it's ultimately something that we'll move forward and be better at next time. Um, but I think, you know, outside of, you know, a few games this year, the offense is, is, is operated pretty well. Um, it can be better. No question about it. We have the players that it can be better. Uh, but I think, I think we're, we're, we're continuing to, uh, to do, you know, Figure that out and, and, and to yeah. and to be better. I think. So when when you watch the the week three game as you're getting ready for the Bucks again, the week three game that you played the Bucks, how much has yeah. our offense changed during this season? How different is it now than what you expected it to become back in September? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. To be honest with you, I think we still run all those same plays that we ran in the Bucks game. Um, I think that um, you know we were we were a better team collectively. I think earlier in the year and we and we were you know the way it works in the season. Sometimes you know you're you're everything you guys are doing is, is working, and that was kind of the way it was for the first half of the season for us. And I think um, obviously this last stretch has been much much different than that. But mm-hmm. um, you know it's still the same players. 
all those plays are plays that we had success with earlier or still plays that we run. Um, so I think, uh, you know, it's refreshing to look back and see, uh, you know, what we have done in the past and the type of team that we have been and played like. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that um, it's evidence just watching that game that, you know, we can, we can play much better football. Jason, how much confusion is out there assignment-wise? How much have defenses created uncertainty in offenses this year in the NFL with the new simulated pressure looks, and how much harder does it make it to protect it pass pro-wise? Um, you know, I think outside of last week, I don't think it's been that big of an issue, to be honest with you. I mean, we haven't – we've faced a lot of zero pressures. When it, there's all sorts of different, you know – types of these things, right? There's there's zero, there's simulated pressures, there's zone pressures, there's run pressures, you know, where you're just trying to, you know, take off run fits. I think um, for the most part, we've done a pretty good job against a lot of that stuff. And I don't think it's been that confusing assignment-wise. Um, I think last week, you know, that's what that guy majors in, and, mm-hmm. and, and we did a good job. I think uh, sometimes you're, you're, you're not – in the right call to get it picked up. Sometimes you don't execute it or guys aren't on the same page. Um, and it's difficult when you're, when you're really, really good at, you know, making, making it confusing. Um, but I think, you know, defenses in general throughout the year, I think have, have done a good job with the simulated pressures and the way they've been playing their coverages uh, behind them, where when they did pressure things would be wide open or when they, did play these soft zones, you'd have much more open things underneath. And I think defenses have adjusted and are doing some really good things right now that have thrown offenses across the league uh, for a, a little bit this year. So the postseason, the game gets faster. It, get, it gets more intense. You guys, you got a lot of guys with that sort of experience. How ready yeah. is our team? You know, our team has not been operating at full capacity, it feels like, this last six weeks. And now we've got to take another step up in terms of intensity. How ready are uh, is this team to do that? Well, we're going to get ready this week. I think, um, you know, we have a lot of guys, like you said, that have – played a lot of football in the postseason. They understand, uh, you know, what's at stake and the the demeanor and the, um, you know, the intensity that you're going to have and you need to have in order to win and have success. And, uh, you know, that's going to be communicated to the new guys this week. And we're going to obviously, you know, the week even just preparing for it is different uh, because you know it's one and done. So, you know, we have a lot of experience and stuff like that, but, you know, we got to – we got to go out there. We got to prove it. We got to go out there. We got to play hard. We got to go out there. We got to play together. And I think that um, you know, as long as we, we we do all those things, I think you know we'll be putting ourselves in as good of a chance as possible to uh, come out victorious. Jason, uh, going to the Super Bowl last year, obviously losing it, and then coming back this year and trying to ratchet it back up. There's a lot of uh, statistics about how hard it is to to lose the Super Bowl and then come back and and even make the playoffs that the next year, much less compete. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, with, with a couple comments this week out of the locker room that maybe guys weren't as, uh, you know, guys were kind of waiting for the playoffs, like waiting for that big stage and maybe not as locked in as they should be. Um, you know, do you feel that at all? Do you feel like it's kind of harder after getting to that big stage and then coming back the next year to have that same intensity for the regular season that you had for, for the biggest of games? Um. First of all, I think there's a lot of statistics showing that it's hard to get back to the Super Bowl because no matter whether you were the runner-up or the you know seventh seed or out of the playoffs, it's it's hard to go to the Super Bowl. Only two teams go. It's very there's a lot of things that need to take place from um, you know having the perfect scenario of team and coaches and and personnel and building and. Uh, you know, there's there's so many things that happen, and then the luck that goes into guys staying healthy, and so it, it, it's hard to go in general. Um, yeah, obviously your off season's a little bit shortened when you know you you go to the Super Bowl. You know, you just played three extra games, maybe four if you didn't get the the uh, the wild uh, the the first round by. So there's there's more wear and tear on you going into the next season. But that being said, you, I, you still have enough time. And, 
as for the comments of, you know, maybe guys are sitting around waiting for the postseason, I, I don't know if that's true. Only Each and every guy knows that that's true, and I, I have not thought that for a second. I think, to be quite frank, when you're losing games and you are trying to find out reasons why or you're struggling and you're trying to think of, you know, what could be it, you know, there's all sorts of things you can reach for. And sometimes you reach for, you know, these things that are a little bit more gray. And I think that, you know, we're not, we're not wearing, we're not tucking our shirts into practice. You know, we're not, we were waiting around for the postseason. We're doing all the, and to me, that's all just nonsense, to be honest with you. Like the reason you're not winning is because you're not executing and the plays aren't working out. And like, everybody just needs to come together and do a better job of that. Like, I don't, I, whenever I, I like that. Coaches, yeah, no, that whenever, makes a ton of sense. Whenever, yeah. when, whenever I start hearing coaches or other people uh, in the building, players, fans, like whenever I hear these, like, kind of these excuses that um, art is like, you know, these we're talking about like very minor effects on the outcome of the game. Um, that it really is disheartening when I hear that stuff. Um, and I'm not talking about, you know, I'm just talking in general. I haven't heard anything like that, but I just think in general, you know, I, I've always, you know, the reason, you know, when you start looking at all these like really minor little things, all these like little, I just don't know that you're, first of all, going to make that big of a difference in the outcome and affecting the things that are greatly going to increase your chance of winning. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Anyways, sorry. No, no I think that yeah. was fascinating. Sense, or- I think what wins yeah. is you go smack that other guy harder than he smacks you. And, and, and <laughs> really, that. There you boil go. it down, yeah. buddy. <laughs> You smack him harder more than he smacks you, and you're probably going to win. Yeah, I mean, let's focus on the – we can talk about all of these other little things and do they potentially make a difference in the outcomes? Sure. But I prefer – and I've always preferred to focus what are the things that are going to make the greatest impact on winning the games, and that's fucking working your ass off in practice, going out there and beating the guy across from you, going out there and doing your job, hard playing hard uh you know you know communicating yeah. and, and making sure guys are on the same all of these things i think have a higher impact of 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 uh affecting the outcome anyways sure. yeah i think that makes a ton of sense jason uh look i know uh you're not thinking about the future yet and all that and uh you know who knows what happens after sunday or monday excuse me uh we're all rooting for a win but i just want to let you know whatever happens uh from this show from this city from everyone, man, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you, how much you've given to this city uh, and and all that you've done, both as a player, as a person, just coming on and being honest with us and forthright and everything. Like, uh, I know I'm speaking for millions when I say thank you. I appreciate it, Seltzer. It's been an honor to, to talk to you guys. Hopefully Thanks, uh, we can do this again next week. Yeah, we're really hoping, man. We're rooting for you, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be talking next week. Either way, man, thanks a lot, Jason. All right. Take all it right. easy, brother. Thanks, right, Jason. I mean, that was a that was fascinating, John. That was like what did you know that that whole answer, and you could tell he was kind of figuring it out as he was saying and really being thoughtful about it. Um, you know, it's kind of like you you always say you've always said football's like go out and beat the dude in front of you. That's what it's all about.